All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this reading here is for my Cancer Zodiac sign, okay? Uh, before we dive into it, let me just say that this is a general reading. Hold on guys, let me, let me turn this here, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable. So energies can cross, and if you need to, just please flip the energies that best resonate with you. This reading is for my Cancer Zodiac signs for the month of September. Love and relationships. Let's dive into it. What is the overall energy for my Cancer for September 2020? The overall energy. Oh, one already popped out. Let me reach the back here on the floor and get it. Oh, there we go. So the first one popped out is these two. Oh, okay. Let me reach down and get this one real quick. Oh, goodness. All right. Set that to the side. So we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Okay. Is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh, okay. So let's uh, go ahead and jump in and clarify this here. Let me clarify getting to know each other for um, cancer for September 2020. Let's clarify getting to know each other. Okay, this last shuffle here, and then I'm going to pull. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, Five of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so on the bottom is Nine of Pentacles. So getting to know each other, Five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you guys may have, um, you may be talking about your past, maybe reflecting back on the past, about the things that you've been through, the lessons you've learned, things like that, yada, yada, yada. I feel like um, this conversation and the more you're getting to know each other, the more you guys are starting to realize where your faults were, okay, as far as your past relationships and things like that, what you've learned from your past relationships, what you've learned from your past period, you know, and how you had to leave things behind. But I feel like this here with you guys talking about this, discussing this and getting to know each other on a deeper level, it's starting to make a change here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? It's uh, changing the energy, okay? It's changing the status of your relationship as well. I feel like it's going to progress and make things move forward here because we have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. So this shows me that this is like a love offering, okay? Now, this could be your energy, but this might as well, this could also be their energy because this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And then we have the Six of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel like, the more that you guys are talking and getting to know each other, it's bringing out this energy of wanting to offer love, wanting to offer that love connection. And it's making some type of movement here, okay? So I feel like this is making this person wanting to move towards you even more uh, because we have the water, so this could represent emotions here. So I feel like this is definitely, whatever this this conversation and stuff that you guys are talking about in the past and things like that, it's really deepening um, the bond between you guys, okay? They're starting to realize, like, man, this person has been through a lot. You know, we have similar things that went on in our past. You know, look at us now. Look at us learning from that. Look how much we've grown from it and things like that. Let's clarify, is it safe for you to love for cancer? Clarify, is it safe for you to love for cancer? All right, so... What do we have here? King of Swords, okay. Ten of Cups. Knight of Swords. And the King of Pentacles. All right. So, the High Priestess, okay. On the bottom, Ace of Cups. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, with is it safe for you to love? Cancer, I feel like this king of swords energy okay this is that gemini libra aquarius energy now and then we have the cups energy as well cancer pisces scorpio that's you i feel like there is a little um standoff fishness is that a word standoffish i don't know standoffishness i don't think that's a word but hey we're gonna roll with it 
So um, I feel like you're a little standoffish, okay? But you're it's in a good way. It's like a protective type of way. You're like you're you're using your in intellect by deciding on the type of person you bring into your life because you're like okay i want someone that can not only just bring me happiness bring me family bring me this but i want someone that's going to be with me on an intellectual type of level i want someone that we can communicate because i like to talk i like to talk about things other than you know what we had for dinner you know i want to talk about things like how can we grow how can we create this how can we build this or how can we make this happen you know what can we do to make our situation better? I feel like that's the type of energy you're looking for. That's the type of energy you're vibing with. That's the level you're on. And with that being said, this person that you're meeting, this person you're moving forward to, I feel like this is the person that has been able to vibe with you on that level. And you're seeing them as something like, man, you know, this might be my equal. You know what I'm saying? this. I feel like this person can be equal to me, you know, coming into my life and 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 um not only supporting their self but um growing with me you know not not having to take on someone that's down here like i feel like they're here with me on my equal level and we can grow together to this ten of cups is how i'm seeing it all right so i feel like with the knight of swords and the king of pentacles you're not afraid to voice that you're not afraid to voice hey look if you can't if you can't bring, how can I say it? Because, come on, help me out. Help me out. You're voicing that you want someone that you can come into a relationship with, that you can grow with, not someone you have to support. Someone that can bring their half and you, they bring their 50, you bring your 50, and you come together and create 100, okay? Okay. That's the way that I'm looking at it. I'm seeing like 50-50 coming together, 100, bam. Like, that's how I'm seeing it. I, you're, you're wanting someone, and I feel like you're not afraid to voice it. You're wanting someone like, hey, look, if you're not that energy, I ain't trying to be with you. You know, and here they are in this king of pentacles as well as you. This is you and this is them. Because y'all energies are crossing here in this reading. It's like both of y'all have the same energy. Both of y'all are feeling the same way. So this could actually be another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you're talking to. But with this King of Pentacles here, this is showing me someone who's financially stable, okay? This is showing me someone that um, can carry their own weight. That's the word I'm looking for. Someone that can carry their own weight is what you're looking for. And you're not afraid to voice that. And I think that this go around, you're like, hey, look, I'm looking for someone that's going to be my equal, not someone that I got to bring up to my level. You know, like, hey, you know, how you doing? Yada, yada, yada. Y'all are getting to know each other. You're realizing y'all got so much in common. Y'all have so many similarities. Y'all stories are almost the exact same. You know what I'm saying? And you're realizing, like, man, this person has what I've been looking for. You know, this person has, it's like the, my, my reflection of me, you know? So that's what I feel like now you're realizing, like, okay, maybe I don't have to um, feel so guarded with this person. Or, I mean, you still got the sword up because you're still kind of precautious and you're like, eh, you know, I don't want to be hurt. But I think you're starting to realize that this person could be the potential person that you see growing with, okay? Growing a family with, growing stability with, growing that happy home, happy life energy with. Uh, let's clarify new love for uh, Cancer for September. All right, let's go ahead and pull and see what we have here. This new love we have. Page of Cups, all right. Page of Swords. The star, okay, and two of swords. So, yeah, and then on top, ace of cups, wow. And on the bottom is four of cups. So, this new love that's coming in is this page of cups energy, right? This page of cups and page of swords energy. This person, I feel like is, um, they want to come to you right now, and they want to be like, hey, I'm interested in you. Hey, I really, you know, I care about you, yada, yada, yada. But I think that it's going to come a little delayed, because in this page of swords, they see you as guarded. Okay, you have a, a, a defense up. Um, I don't think they know exactly how to. They're kind of shy. They're kind of intimidated by you uh, with this page of cups. They're kind of like, they want to come in and talk to you, but they're like, whoo, <laughs> you know, like this person is feisty. <laughs> like, and so they see you as kind of feisty. They're like, I, you know, I, I want to come up to them, but I'm kind of nervous, you know. I think that you're making them nervous about coming or you're, um, 
you you cut somebody off so quick that they like, woo, you know, I got to prepare myself. You know, I'm come, I'm, I'm going to come, but I got to make sure I'm in the right position. Okay, so I feel like that's them trying to come in and, and tell you that they're interested in you, right? They see you as like this bomb person, this star energy, this this happiness, this healing, this hopeful person. You know what I'm saying? They see that you've healed, that you've, they know you've went through a lot, right? They're already talking to you. You're getting to know each other if you haven't already. Um, they see that you've healed from a lot of stuff in your past. They see that you've grown. And they may even look at you as someone like, man, this person is completely out of my, um, out of my league. My, 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 I got to have them, okay? Like, that's how they're looking at you. Um, but I feel like the reason why it's going to be so delayed when they come to you, like, I have a feeling they want to come now. Like, I see them wanting to walk up to you now, but you kind of snap and be like, I'm not interested right now. Like, I, th I think they know that you have that wall up, so they're trying to wait for that wall to come down, or they're trying to wait for you to put down your knives here with the two of swords, because they know that when they come to you, they might possibly get stabbed, or they might possibly get cut by you. Because you're like so, um, you're in like such a defensive mood, or mode, however you say it, you're in a defensive mode, and you're like, I don't, you're not willing to let someone in easily so they know that they got to make a good effort they got to come at you at the right time the right place with the right words or you're gonna cut them off so it's like they're, they're gonna come they're coming with this love offering they're just trying to figure out how they're gonna approach you okay okay so let's get a couple cards here out of the psychic tarot for the heart what is the advice that you have what is the advice that you have for cancer all right here we go we have dreams coming true. Wow. This person here that I see coming in, this is someone that you're really going to enjoy being around, okay? I feel like this is your equal. This is the person you've been wanting, you've been looking for, and you've been trying to find someone that can <clears throat> give you the same energy that you're trying to give out. Uh, so I definitely see this as a dreams coming true situation, okay? We also have balance that popped out here. Again, remember how I said you're looking for your equal. You're looking for someone that can um, bring the same, bring you fifty, bring you fifty percent, and you get fifty percent. This is that person. I'm showing balance here. Y'all both are looking for the same thing, and y'all both have the same exact energy. So coming together is going to allow balance to come in. It's like nobody, the other person isn't going to be given more than the other person here. Okay. Let's see. Let's do. Uh, what else do you have? What is the other advice that you have? Come on, switch. Ooh. Okay, a whole bunch of them just jumped out. Wait a minute. <laughs> Reach down. Okay, so three more popped out here. <laughs> Put these up. Okay, so crown chakra. Success and growth. And the heart chakra popped out. So the crown chakra is, again, telling me that you're, you're taking whatever's in the spirit realm and you're bringing it down to the physical realm. You're not, uh, you're not just out here looking for the next best thing, right? You're actually using your brain, using your intelligence, using what you are putting in your head, like whatever is going on in your in the spirit realm, what you're dreaming of, manifesting, and things like that. You're like, whenever this person comes, that's who I want to come into my life. This is the type of person I want to come into my life. So I feel like with you doing that, that's why this person is um, kind of hesitant because they're waiting on the green light, right? They're waiting on the green light. They're waiting on the perfect time. To come in and offer you this. That way you don't stab. Again you don't stab them. Because they see you're very defensive. You're like eh. You don't really show too much emotion. But you're not you're not afraid to cut somebody off. So they're, they're coming. But they just know it's not the right time. Okay. We have success and growth. Yes. This is definitely a relationship that can um, be successful. And grow into something. As the ten of cups here. And with the heart chakra. The heart chakra. What is that? <laughs> the heart chakra. I see this relationship having a lot of depth in it as far as emotions and heart and love and things like that. You know, you're not just going out here searching for the next best thing. You're using your mind. You're using your brain. You're using your intelligence. And you're like, before I get with this person, I'm going to make sure that this person can be equal with me, can communicate with me, can go have deep conversations with me. You know what I'm saying? Can think on the level that I'm thinking on. Can create a future that I'm trying to create. You know what I'm saying? 
They have to be on that level with me, and I see you doing that. So, um, but you also want that, but you also want the heart chakra. You want the dreams and things like that, but you also want love. And so I see that coming here, and you're wanting success and growth at the same time. So I do see this as someone coming in that's going to give you that, okay, with this, this energy. They're coming, but just know you... <laughs> You got this wall up that they're kind of nervous. You know, you're making them nervous to come in. So just, just be alarmed on that. I mean, just don't be alarmed, but just a heads up on that part. All right, let's get a couple of cards here from the Manifest Soulmate deck. What is the energy that you would like to give for Cancer? For the month of September. Last shuffle that I'm going to pull. All right, let's see what we have. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear, okay? Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. And never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. All right. So that's what I have for you today, Cancer. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.